we can only act after the fact, after harm has occurred. Dr. David Kessler is commissioner of the Food and Drug Administration, the U.S. government agency charged with making certain drugs and medicines work safely. But Dr. Kessler, after the fact, is too late. Absolutely. I agree with that 100%. What we end up doing is chasing the horse after it's out of the barn. That's the law, Sam, and people need to know that. The law under which the FDA generally operates requires that drug manufacturers prove a product is safe before they can market it. But in 1994, Congress, under heavy lobbying from the vitamin and food supplement industries, turned that around when it comes to products that contain only natural substances. The burden shifted from the manufacturer having to prove that a product was safe to us proving that there has been harm. So with no government oversight up front, companies are free to market health supplement pills just as long as the product contains natural substances. We had been doing some research in Brazil uh, a while back and we had spoken to some doctors uh, in the rainforest. From the rainforest, then, came the idea for herbal ecstasy, which contains, among other things, Tibetan mawang, that's where the ephedrine is, German wild ginkgo biloba, Russian goda cola, and Indonesian wild fo titiang. The formula was developed by a group of doctors. Can you give me their names? No, and unfortunately, that remains confidential. Where do you manufacture your product? Is there a plant? It's in the United States. Can but you that's, tell me where? No, I certainly can't because that's, that's confidential trade secret information. The formula, I understand. Why a formula would be a trade secret. Formula. Sure. But who the doctors are that made up the formula and where the plant is, I don't understand why you won't tell us. Well, it's, it's, it's twofold, Sam. It's because of the nature of the product. Um, obviously... I mean, if you have nothing to hide, why hide it? Well, we, we have nothing to hide. But... There's certain things that we feel would be best kept in the hands of the company. And there's certain things that we don't want the general public knowing. Sean Sheehan is on the record and right up front about that. But against the backdrop of Peter Schlendorf's death, the FDA has issued a warning. Consumers need to know that there are real dangers from these products. Is this product safe? Absolutely. Well, how can you claim it's safe if the FDA warns people not to buy it? The FDA's research isn't founded in any facts. The FDA cannot document one reported incidence of any injury, of any death with our product, ever. But with Peter Schlendorf's death tied to the product Ultimate Exforia, the FDA may be able to take action against all such ephedrine-based products. But that may not end the problem. What happens when we begin to take regulatory action is that we're almost playing a shell game, that we go after a product and the manufacturer reformulates the product. As a matter of fact, Sean Sheehan and his company have just come out with a new product, which contains no ephedrine, Ecstasy 2. We found a plant in Fiji. Uh, it's a rare form of a very popular plant called Kava Kava. Yes, and guess what? We had Ecstasy 2 analyzed, and it contains high amounts of a chemical compound called norephedrine, which according to medical experts, can produce the same dangerous results. Again, it's the young who are targeted, and it's the family who are left to wonder. My son's gone, and I don't know why. I really don't know why. And in his memory, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on and, and live the very best life I can and do the kinds of things that, that we've always done in the past so that we are proud of each other, and when he looks down, he's proud of us. When we informed Sean Sheehan that Ecstasy 2 appears to contain norephedrine, he said our lab must be mistaken, and his company has documents to prove it. Our lab said it stands by its results. Incidentally, there's big money being made in all this. 15 million units of Ecstasy 1 have been sold, according to Sheehan, at $20 a piece. That adds up to $300 million.